Greetings one and all inside the family car guy and today is a little bit of a bittersweet day. It is the day that we are saying goodbye to the Z06. That's right, we are saying goodbye to the Z06. Am I selling it? No, I am not. Do I need to give it back because I can't make the payments? No. Uh, we actually are sending it to Race Proven Motorsports in Delaware. For those of you guys who follow Dirty Max Jack or Street Speed 717, uh, Street Street 717 actually hasn't gotten his cars done there, but he is very familiar with that shop. Anyway, they've done some great work for a lot of different uh, Corvette and Camaro customers. They're basically a, uh, a pretty well-known LS shop. And as I was doing my research on uh, getting the valve guide issue fixed, um, and then at that point it's like, well, if you're going to do that, you might as well do all of the other things, the supporting mods. Uh, if you were going to do them, this would be the time to do them so you're not paying for labor twice. Uh, I really looked into their work and, and the consistency of the results and, and, and their tuning and, and how streetable their tunes are, as well as how, how well they do on the track, and I just felt like they were the best choice. So we are shipping the car all the way from Minnesota to their shop in Delaware, and we will not see it on this channel for a few weeks while the work gets done but when she comes back, she will be ready to go. And my wife can stop uh, yelling at me for having a car that just sits in the garage all year. So anyway, we're just waiting for the driver to come and then we'll go from there. So guys, we're going on one final drive in the Z06 before we get her shipped off to Race Room and Motorsports. Um, just gonna take a quick drive down the block here. Just wanna make sure everything's looking good. The tire pressure is a little low in the front two tires. It's right around 25 PSI. A little wet outside too. You know, it's funny because even in the rain, you can really tell, you know, this is the first time I've driven this car since basically November. And, you know, it's hard to imagine this car being <laughs> much faster than it already is. There are, when you really get used to the power, if you can get used to the power. I mean, every car that you drive, you get used to it over time, right? So, if you want to call it getting used to the power, I guess I've gotten used to the kind of the torque curve and where it's the strongest and kind of where it's the weakest. Uh, and so, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to a little bit more mid-range torque, a little bit flatter torque curve across the rev range. So that's kind of one thing I'm definitely looking forward to uh, in this car. And I, I've not taken this car to the track yet, but definitely I, I will when, when we get it back. But yeah, it's definitely a, <laughs> a much smoother ride than the C4. Now obviously the C4, obviously that's a little bit different of a platform. Uh, but you can definitely tell just the advance, the advances that have been made between these two platforms, considering the fact that I drive the C4 every day. So, but yeah, that's the thing that really jumps out at me is, is like how much low-end torque this car really has, and how much you really feel that in your seat, and how smooth the power delivery is right now like i said after you get used to the car it doesn't quite feel as intimidating as it does when you first get the car but i mean 505 horsepower definitely feels like 505 you know so it's really going to be interesting when i get it back and i definitely just kind of wanted to do a couple runs quick we're going to turn left here and jump on the highway and just kind of get one last experience because after this we'll be making a comparison when we get her back on how it will be doing so we're in second gear now or i should say we need to get in second gear so we're spinning even in second gear spinning in third gear now obviously because it's wet it's not going to be the greatest measure of an acceleration run. The tires on 
this car are Michelin Pilot Super Sports. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but they're they're a decent tire. I definitely would not use these tires on a track. Uh, I think they'll be fine. I, pro I I take that back. I probably will use these tires the first time I go to the track, but I won't be going to the track uh, to really put down like an aggressive run or anything like that. I think I'll just be going to the track, just kind of have a little bit of fun and just get used to the power and kind of see this thing stretch its legs. Uh, where I live in Minnesota, we have rumors of a track being built just south of me in, in Faribault, Minnesota called Wolf Creek Autobahn. And then we have another track that's been there for years and it used to be, I think, officially a NASCAR track. That was, that's a Brainerd International Raceway and, and there's a lot of events that happen up there in the summertime. Um, drag race events specifically, uh, but all kinds of stuff. They have a road course and then the, the full track itself is about three miles, three and a half miles, something like that. And they've got a long back straight. So that'll be the place where I really want to see how this car does. Uh, a lot of cars. I mean, I'll probably see if I can drag race it, but I just I probably won't do it on these tires because these tires really weren't made for that. Even in the, even in the dry, when it's completely dry, these tires will still spin all the way through 60. And, you know, the car will go straight, absolutely. But you really don't get much traction. Um, it's, it's, it's okay. I don't want to say it's horrible, but it's, it's really not. It's okay. But the thing that I... The main reason why I bought these tires is because based on how much I was driving the car prior to deciding to get all the mods done, I wanted tires that would grip decently well, uh, but also give me a long tread life. And so I think these give, do the best job of that. But going forward, we'll definitely want to do something like some Mickey Thompson ET Streets or some Toyo R Triple Eight R's or something like that. Some kind of, or maybe even NTO fives. Uh, Nitto NT05 or something like that, NT05 R's, to give me a little bit better street track combination. I don't really think that, that as is, this, these tires are going to get it done. Guys, okay, so as you can see, there's the truck. Uh, they are coming to get the Z06 right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back it out because, boy, he looks like he's having quite, quite the adventure trying to get this thing pulled into my neighborhood here. As you can see, that's a pretty long trailer, so let's get her backed out and let's get this thing loaded up. Alright, so get this you guys, I'm sitting in on the ramp of the car hauler because I had to back my Z06 onto the ramp because <laughs> this dude cannot drive stick apparently. So here we are. Hilarious. Alex, he delivers for our for a living. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's be nice. When does the car come back? Uh, it'll be a couple weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be out there for at least two weeks. So that all the parts come in and they have enough time to to get it done. All right guys, so the car is off to the race through motorsports. Big shout out to Alex. Um, I use Reliant Transport as the uh, broker, uh, but Alex is really cool meeting him. He was the truck driver, younger guy. Uh, he delivers 
Ferraris and other exotic cars for a lot of famous people, and, and he had a lot of actually really cool stories to tell. Correction, he can actually drive stick. He just wanted to be able to see when he was backing up, so he had me backing onto the trailer and guided me. Um, but yeah, really, really excited for the changes. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. As you can see, it's an awful, awful day out here uh, if you're trying to do any kind of cool car stuff. So not the greatest day to load the car into the trailer, but hey, it's not like we're driving it, going for a leisurely drive. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please like uh, this video. Uh, please, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you are made aware of all the changes and the updates we have coming to this channel. As you can guess, and what we've alluded to already with the car going off to RPM, Race with Motorsports. Uh, keep it locked here, and we'll keep you guys informed and, and ready to go for the next one. Peace.